Good evening, everybody. What's up? How y'all doing? I hope you guys are well. What's going on, guys? <laughs> hey, y'all. I hope everybody is well and has had a wonderful spiritual Sunday today. You guys are beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. You are returning. I'm so appreciative and so graciously grateful to have you in my chat room. Whether it be on TikTok or YouTube, come and catch me on either one, my YouTube studio on um, that platform. You're more than welcome to join that chat room as well or come back and rewatch anything that I do on TikTok, okay? All right. This will be a channel message for the collective of all zodiac signs. Thank you so much for being here. Number 11 on my screen. It cannot get any more divine than 1111. Thank you so much for being here, y'all. And I hope you're ready to soak up all of the good vibes, all of the good juju that I'm throwing around. <laughs> Spirit is here to give you a beautiful message and to tell you where it is that you need to be checking in with soul right now and what it is that you're supposed to be doing. I'm hoping that this is going to give you some sort of uplifting guidance so that you leave me in a better energy then I found you, all right? Again, this will be a channel message for all zodiac signs as the collective. If you're interested in a personalized channel message of your own, you can come and inquire about a personalized channel message through the number 720-675-7551. You can get your channel check-in through text message there as well. Um, that's $10 a question or three for 2888. Don't know what to ask, that's okay. You can just text check in one or check in three and see what spirit wants you to know right now. We will figure that out together. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Let's get going. Let's get started and see what spirit has for you guys. All right. Let's do it. We're going to spray the air and we're going to get the energy flowing in a high vibrational frequency, y'all. If you guys are interested in this, I had some people message me after my last live today. You can find this on michaels.com. So it's www michaels.com my storefront is enchanted nectars so you just search enchanted nectar ne nectars, nectars <laughs> in maker's place and um, it will pull up all of my body and home products um, there's the guardian which is infused with lavender rose and hand gathered garnet and amethyst i also have lady luck and she is amazing she's beautiful she smells wonderful of uh, my citrus blend and clove there's also citrine and there's peridot. Those are also hand gathered and infused in every single bottle. Okay. So you can go there, www.michaels.com and search enchanted nectars. Okay. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Watch the little eardrums though, because it's going to get kind of loud. I'm going to ring the bell. Here we go. I love it. We brought forward such good energy and so many good um, angelic figures. We have ancestors that are present, y'all. I'm so excited. All right, the letter M, the letter E, A, T, S, R, and Q could be significant. There's a lot of shifting energy for the positive, um, leaving things that are heavy behind. Yesterday could have been a very emotionally heavy day or earlier on in the day today. It could have been very heavy emotions that is clearing out for a brighter tomorrow. Literally, tomorrow will be a brighter, higher vibrational frequency energy, okay? A very childlike enjoyment of things that are coming to you, blessings that are coming to you out of nowhere, or... Um, People that are experiencing more of like an upgrade energetically, like maybe you've been in a funk for a while, that's going to kind of slowly dissipate over the next like two to three days and you're going to feel like a whole new rebirth of energy after those um, periods of shifts from the planets, okay? So just be ready for that and be accepting and open to that. We are in fire season, which is definitely an action-oriented type of sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is all action-based, baby. But we are in the beginning of all zodiac signs of the Aries, the leader, the ram. Okay. It's ruled by Mars, the god of war. Happy birthday to all my Aries. If you're celebrating, it's your birthday weekend, whatever it happens to be. I hope that you're celebrating and that you're giving yourself the validation that's needed and that you um, don't need outside approval for anything it is that you're doing and just 
being grateful that you're here to celebrate another year and have the honor to bring in another year. Lots of communication energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Psychic abilities are being heightened, especially if you're specific types of zodiac signs right now. Somebody could be traveling towards water or somewhere tropic could be significant. Somebody could, um, I don't know why they brought this forward, but somebody could be a devotee of Santa Marte. Catholicism could be significant or formal religion could be significant here. Um, I said that and these cards got super, super sticky. Smoky quartz and obsidian or black tourmaline could be significant. Someone's name could be Erica, Monica, Nicole, Nikki. The color navy could be significant. Blue is significant. This is a channeled message for the collective of all zodiac signs. If you would like to have a channeled check-in, you can text me or inquire about my video chat schedule at 720-675-7551, or you can have your energy pulled live here in chat for $20 to my PayPal. Heavy, heavy water energy of emotions. Um, somebody has deep emotions for you. You're like heavy on someone's mind, or you are heavily thinking about a specific person and what it is that you are doing in a certain direction. Like maybe somebody... Um, returned back into your life because of retrograde and you're trying to decide what to do with that energy. It may be uncertain. It may be like um, two of swords energy. You don't have all the information. Like you can't know what you don't know. You can't have an answer if you don't have all of the facts or all of the pieces. Okay. This is sealed. Um, I just got the message that someone's um, heartbreak, someone's heartache, someone's struggle, someone's strife was literally putting them on the path of what they were supposed to be doing, like your divine path, like what your divine purpose is. This is path of service. This could be a twin flame dynamic that is coming into unification or something to do with the soulmate that is coming into unification and you being uh, unified with the true divine partner, okay? There is clarity that's coming in to take away the two of swords and bring in more of like the six of wands energy of celebration, hero energy, having um, something to be very proud of or very much entering in that hero type energy riding in on the victory horse. OK, about um, doing like some sort of it says a uh, green flag energy, like ready to go. And it's a positive thing. OK. Um, clarity on a situation that possibly was not fully revealed. Notice that this piece of quartz here is only revealed this part of it at the top. And if you flip it the other way, it's a completely different image that looks like waterfalls, um, like mountain range or things that are hidden almost like a glacier or um, something that is like an iceberg or something like that. Um, like part of it is hidden. They said Antarctica or like possibly someone like freezing you out or whatever. You're about to get clarity on why that is, why that happened. Okay. Also, they want to reference that that's sitting inside of the seashell right in front of me. They're calling out my stones on my table. And we pulled clarity of the clear quartz earlier in my channeled message for the collective this AM. We have fire energy. We are literally in the leading zodiac sign fire energy of Aries. Okay. Um, this is sun energy. This is the illumination of something, or this is very much happiness, fulfillment, um, the fire within to keep something going or to continue going until you get clarity on a situation. There's about to be a judgment call where there is justice involved here for you. I told you, I this is crazy. I told you black tourmaline. I told you smoky quartz and I told you obsidian. We pulled black tourmaline with purification. There is about to be clarity and purification of energy that comes in with some sort of communication, whether that be an email, whether that be a letter, whether that be somebody texting you or physically coming to you to communicate to you about your talents. Maybe you're getting clarity on somebody wanting to like collaborate with you. If you work on the internet or do something on the internet, there could be um, some sort of collaboration there, your talents. This could have something to do with pottery. This could have something to do with terracotta. This could have something 
something to do with handmade um, types of trinkets or literally like pottery cups, like watering vases or what you would carry water in from like a river. Uh, this could be very much indigenous ties to someone's land. Okay. Uh, water energy of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, LGBTQ, neurodivergency or rainbow children are significant here. Um, someone could have a rainbow child on the other side, which means the child never got a chance to take their first breath and it passed in utero. OK, um, there could be emotions about this. There could be something about maybe um, you helping uh, mothers through this or something of that nature. Uh, that's very significant purification of that energy. If that has happened to you, bless you, sweet mama and uh, the daddies, too because sometimes they don't get recognition of them going through the heartbreak of, of, the, of the exact same thing. The mother does carry the child and feels a lot more of a strong connection, but the father still grieve, and so does other family members that were excited to see the baby come to fruition. There is leadership here. Your talent is in leadership. Maybe you're teaching pottery. Maybe you're teaching painting. Maybe it is that it's like um, you're uh, voicing your opinion and it helps inspire other people. Motivational speaking. You bring clarity to people, possibly. That could be significant. Maybe your path of service is to be a leader that brings clarity to people, okay? Um, that could be significant. Insurance is significant. Maybe somebody's like trying to change their insurance or somebody's trying to search for a different insurance company. That could be significant. Um, there is leadership here of like possibly a new position that even if you are a leader already, you are getting some sort of like elevated promotional type energy for Whatever position it is that you're playing now, it comes with more responsibility, more money, more success, um, more possibly um, attention or somebody is getting a lot of attention for their talents and leadership and how good of a leader they are, how kind of a leader they are. Or even whenever there seems to be some sort of like very tumultuous type of energy or very like heavy um, chaotic energy, your leadership skills still take over and you are still a loving light type of person and you're operating in integrity always regardless of what's being thrown at you um someone said uh the gauntlet or something like that let's see what divine feminine has to say there's a lot of independent energy here of being self-sufficient somebody wants to help you along your journey possibly The two of cups could be significant. Unification or a soulmate type of relationship. This is in romance. Red and gold are significant. Navy and gold are significant. Navy and silver. Someone could have some sort of platinum jewelry. Sapphire, emerald, diamond, garnet, and ruby are significant. A pearl. Aquamarine, Rhodes Quartz, Amethyst is significant, Citrine, that is the Stone of Happiness, Peridot could also be significant, that's um, for business, money, success, wealth, attracting new opportunities, and also healing heartbreak as well. Carnelian is wonderful, that helps heal from abuse and gives you confidence. Lion energy of uh, Leona, lioness, um, the strength, courage of Leo. Someone could courageously be coming towards you with Leo energy. Um, someone just said, whatever I desire, desires me. Someone could be saying affirmations. The Hierophant, someone could be asking you to marry them, or there could be an engagement that is underway, or you just recently got engaged. There could be a marriage that is being affected by some sort of leadership position that you've taken. Like maybe you have to travel. Having a solid romantic partner is important. And if you don't have one, you need to 
to get away from that and you need to figure out what it is that you need to do on your own so that you can be successful because if somebody is insecure or does not have the confidence to follow somebody and like or lead someone who is a leader in every other aspect of their life, that's never going to work out. This is sealed. There will always be someone feeling like they are either being controlled or having to live smaller so that they don't offend someone else. That's no way to live. Okay, we have more um, fire energy here, the presence of divine feminine. Um, this will be the third time today that I pulled divine um, feminine energy, um, twice from this specific deck. The divine feminine at the center of everything, there is light, and I am the light. Operating in your divine feminine energy and calling to you what it is that you desire, not chasing energy. We don't chase, we attract. What is meant for us will never miss us. The mystic of peace. Okay, I am peace when my mind is clear, the way is clear. This has to do with meditation. Receiving guidance, possibly through meditation. The Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Ring Tara. She's doing a mudra here. This is uh, for meditation again. Snakes could be significant. Someone could live around like a desert area where there's snakes or scorpions, maybe. Queen of the Outsiders. The movie The Outsiders could be significant. Um. Someone said the movie like The Warriors or something like that. They said, Warriors, come out and play. Um, queen of the Outsiders. Someone could literally like have like Queen in their screen name or like um, use that as like a pet surname. I have arrived. I am where I always will be. And that is in love. Um, a sacred heart tattoo could be significant. You could be taking a completely different path or a different um, way and turning towards a way that other people did not expect. There's going to be, again, clarity on a situation that allows you to choose very clearly. I just heard someone say, I like you. The feelings are mutual. The color purple could be significant, like the book. The play, the movie, or someone's favorite color could be purple. Someone could do like heavy, like smoky eye makeup, maybe even with purple. Someone could have brown eyes and use purple eyeshadow. Someone could have like fairies in their, like in their bedroom or like fairy lights or LED lights. Someone has a very dark bed frame. Crows could be significant. Someone could have like animal skulls or bones that they work with. Daffodils or honeysuckles could be significant. Burning pine could be significant or pine saw could be significant. Uh, like bubble gum or baby pink could be significant. Baby blue could be significant. Someone said a bouncing baby boy. A very peaceful, like tranquil. Um, tranquility is the word that they're using. Life is here for you. No more struggle, no more strife, no more stressing. Like a little wooden box with trinkets in it or like keys or something. I hear a lot of keys or different hats. Someone wears different hats. Dream catchers could be significant, or someone may have like a tattoo of a dream catcher. Fireflies could be significant. On that song, 10,000 fireflies. It's weird because I hate goodbyes. I, um, I think there's a band called Owl City. That could be significant. Owl, that wants to come out, I'll take it. This is so crazy. No stinking way. No way. Y'all, this is sealed, okay? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, you just sat there and watched me, like, shuffle, 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 shuffle. And I shuffled already previously before I shuffled my shuffle, all right? We got retreat and enlightenment and letting go earlier in this AM's reading, okay? Not only is that significant, you got trust. 
I told you citrine and amethyst were significant. A shard of citrine and amethyst are there. Someone's name could be crystal. Someone's name could be autumn. Um, something to do with August or the beginning of autumn could be significant, like a marker of time. The number eight is significant. We have letting go. You let go of something that was very possibly um, like trauma ridden that had to do with autumn. A spirit guardian of winter retreat going on some sort of like personal retreat, like retreating back away from any sort of activity, kind of going um, hermit mode or going somewhere where it's quiet. The snow quiets things. Also, mind you, there is pine trees right there. I told you pine or pine saw. Someone could live in like a log home or a home that has like wood siding. We pulled enlightenment earlier. 2019 could be significant. A gazebo, a park, or in the mountains could be significant. Um, we got playfulness earlier, actually, also, I do believe. There's um, blue butterflies and fairies. I told you someone had fairy lights or like fairies in their in their room or something like that. There is the number 15 here, 2015, and fairies, playfulness, elves. The movie Elf could be significant. We have thicket of thorns, uncertainty. This is divine feminine manifested herself in doe form here. I told you bubblegum pink or baby pink. She is wearing a pink skirt. Someone could veil their head or wear hats to protect their crown chakra. I told you indigenous ties, possibly, of some sort of ancestors, like dream catchers, things like that. I told you ruby and garnet. There is a red stone inside of a wooden box that I told you was significant that had trinkets or keys or something inside of it. There's the wooden box. There's the red stone. And there's the ancestor watching over everything. Someone's name could be Grace or Gracie. Meandering pathway, flow, um, the magician or um, Merlin could be significant. Harry Potter could be significant. Someone could literally have like a witch's hat or a warlock hat. Somebody could have like OCD or is very particular or nitpicky. Someone could have been very judgmental or very like... Um, like critiquing you down to like every little thing it is that you're doing. If <clears throat> that somebody doesn't want me to say this, they're like closing up my throat chakra. They're getting, they were like nitpicking and pulling apart every single thing that you do and like trying to like make people see you a different way or try to get people to think of you in a specific way. And you just handled it all with grace. And because of that, the universe is about to give you a karmatic payoff in like abundance and success in some way. You are letting go of something that is like very heavy. It's very like 10 of swords energy, 10 of wands energy, a lot of heaviness. It's ending something and allowing you to retreat, let go. And even though it's uncertain what's coming in front of you, you're like, I'm letting it go. And I'm looking for playfulness. I'm looking to go forward with like, um, and I'm trusting that this is the energy that's coming for me because I'm not holding on to toxic situations. I don't want to be a part of that anymore. I thought I did. And it's like um, going to school and failing, um, like failing a test or something and then being given another chance to do it, but you don't study for it and you fail it again. It's like, you're trying to like move on from whatever it is that the universe is trying to teach you and take it with grace Take it with love and have enlightenment from the situation and transmute that into wisdom. Somebody could be trying to like, could have tried to humble you with something that was a mistake or something about your shadow side in the past. Autoimmunity could be significant. You could be dealing with a cancer. A Sagittarius or somebody likes to know like very deep down like what it is that they they are getting themselves into like I'm going to research this school before I sign up I'm going to research this company before I apply I'm going to research this insurance company before I change I'm going to research this finance company before I decide to go and buy a car I'm going to research the car before I buy the car before I even go and look for the car I'm going to research all these homes, all the things about it, what's on tax records and everything, um, like everything about it in the MLS or whatever, before I even go and look for the home. 
something about a home is significant. Um, there's no place like home. Wizard of Oz or clicking your heels together three times. Ruby red slippers could be significant. Um, or glittery red shoes or patent leather red shoes could be significant. Um, a picture frame could be significant. The song from Cheryl Crow and um, Kid Rock, Picture. I saw your picture today. Somebody could be looking at pictures of you because it, when she says, I um, sat down and cried today, that part of the song is significant, like looking at someone's picture. You could be looking at baby pictures of your child or someone is literally, I kind of feel more like someone is literally looking at pictures of you and like either crying or is upset that they, that you're letting go of them or that they let go of you and like they walked away from you or something. They are that they walked away from you and left you in uncertainty about what it is that they feel about you, maybe. Okay. <laughs> this is sealed. Y'all, I told you someone had like animal bones that they work with or crows were significant. They literally pulled crow spirit. I can't make that up. Procreate with spirit. 17. 2017 is significant since someone was 17 years old. I told... What? 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 I can't. I told you snakes were significant. Somebody lives where there's like scorpions or snakes in like a desert area. They pulled the snake for the second time today. This will be the second time this card has been pulled. 55 equals a 10. That is completion of cycles. Time to heal. You're co-creating with spirit and you are taking, you are letting go what is not meant to be. And you are taking on a leadership position. This is absolutely amazing, y'all. I am like so like, I love whenever this happens and it just keeps coming out with all the synchronicities. Um, 29, 2, and 9, 11. We were talking about 11, 11 earlier. The number 27 could be significant or the 3rd of August is significant. Seeing the big picture, seeing the higher perspective. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. We pulled this card earlier as well. Y'all just watch me sit there and shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. And still these came out again. These two were already in the reading this AM. And it says it's time to heal with the snake and time for a deep dive. Someone wants to heal something with you or spirit is telling you to let something go so you can heal. And it's about to release the flow of whatever is meant for you because you have new romance and business coming in for you. Um, this could be with a fire sign. This could be with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or this could also be with like a Libra or a Gemini. Those are very heavy. And the star energy of Aquarius is present. Like somebody just went through something and is like healing from that. And there's a full recovery from whatever was previously being um, let go of. Or the clarity, like an awakening that someone got. They're seeing clearly now. And there is the star energy of healing. Okay, let's see what your runes have to say. The color black is significant. I even, you know what? I didn't even think about this. They just brought this to my attention. I told you the song picture from Cheryl Crow and Kid Rock, and they pulled a crow. I, I can't make that up. I cannot make that up. If you missed it and you're just joining, go back and rewatch it on my YouTube studio, and you'll see everything I just said. You can watch my hands. You can watch my words. That's fine. Go back and double check. I don't mind, not one bit. This is sealed. Okay, inguas, seeds, like planting seeds, sowing seeds. Okay, somebody could literally be planting seeds for like flowers or like perennials or something like that, or like to grow their own food. Aloe vera could be significant. Avocados, lemon trees, lime trees could be significant. Um, daffodils could be significant. Begonias could be like significant or chrysanthemums. Symbolizes goals, growth, change, common sense, the hearth and the home. I told you something specific about a home or a house. Y'all, they're on fire. Like, I can't help but smile. They're on fire, y'all. 
the color green is significant. I can't make this up. This is so crazy. And I love these readings. That means y'all got something good coming for you. You got something good coming for you. Somebody is staying in a really good enlightened energy and like a positive, like high priestess energy. Even um, whenever the picture right in front of you seems like it's very um, heavy or something like that, like the energy is heavy, you see above and beyond the bigger picture, like you're seeing the bigger picture. Someone's name could be Anthony or Tony. Lily. Lillian. Eve. Um, that song from Eve the Rapper. Um, who's that girl? La 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 la. Um, Pink the Rapper. There you go. Looking pitiful. Just because I let you go. There you go. That song could be significant. Um, her as a rapper could be significant. Someone could have pink hair. Her uh, pink song, Family Portrait, could be significant. Um, something about a blended family could be significant. Uh, bear paws or mother bear energy, polar bears are significant. Those um, could be familiars for you, bears. Someone said the right to bear arms. Somebody could be like a sharpshooter or somebody's really good with like a handgun. Somebody said 44 mag, semi-automatic. Uh, desert eagles, like twin desert eagles or something like that could be significant. Somebody took two guns and like clanked them together like that. Somebody could have like a gun that has like a gold handle or like engraving on it or something like that. Somebody could be sitting at like a, like a desktop computer right now. Um, the program Word or Excel spreadsheet could be significant. Somebody could be being trained on a computer for work, like a new computer program. Someone's name could be uh, Mikael or Mikey, Michaela. Someone's last name could be Sharpton. Someone said Sharks Container. Somebody could be uh, like gluten intolerant or eat gluten free. Somebody drinks oat milk. Sorry, guys. Okay. Whoa, no way. No way. <laughs> this is sealed, y'all. Hold on. I told you earlier sapphire, emerald, ruby, garnet, amethyst, rose quartz. Those were all in. Um, um, and aquamarine, you pulled sapphire. You pulled sapphire. 33 on my screen. I can't make that up. <laughs> I can't make that up. Channeled wisdom, psychic ability, self-expression, and destiny. I said someone was transmuting energy that was like struggle and strife into wisdom and transmuting it into something better. There that is. We have fire energy to no way to go with fire. Y'all, what? This is so crazy. This is so impressive. I am like, spirit got me shook. Spirit got me shook. <laughs> Passionate creation, travel, and courage. Courage is a symbol and an attribute of Leo. And right now in planetary alignment where the moon is shifting and all of those things is crossing Leo. And it's very brave energy. Leo is the sun. We pulled the sun. Okay. That's about illumination of truth, illumination of a different side of something, illumination of talents, illumination of happiness. It's the ultimate wish fulfillment in tarot. And you pulled fire again with the attribute of courage. In the next 24 hours, somebody could courageously be coming to like take leadership of a position. And this is like, this is like divine masculine energy. Like I'm coming to swoop. Like, let me tell you, like, this is what it's about to be. Like, <laughs> this is true divine partner, baby. Pop off, king. Pop off. <laughs> orange calcite. Um, somebody could literally be eating oranges or citrus is significant. Um, like blood oranges or like clementines. 
Um, someone said, my funny Valentine. Um, boosting self-esteem, expressing sexuality, psychological healing. Um, they brought up carnelian for like abuse, like psychological abuse, narcissism, and energetic living. Somebody's last name could be like Valentine or something about Valentine's Day. Somebody wants you to be their Valentine for like forever and always, but you should be showing appreciation for your significant other and the ones around you that you love every day, not just because the holiday told you to. Just FYI, that's all I got to say about that. All right, let's see what your oracles are, babies. Let's get an oracle. Let's see what the oracles got to pop off with today. I love this for you guys. Like, I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> I just can't stop smiling. Somebody tried to like lie on your name and say that you're a bad person or that you're mean or mean spirited or that you do bad things or you talk and gossip about people or that you said something about someone or you were doing something like this is almost like somebody's like, yeah, they'll sleep with anybody. They'll talk to anybody. They'll go and gossip about anybody that will listen or whatever. And that's not the facts. It's like you're very kept to yourself. And for whatever period of time it has taken for other people to be uncertain about maybe your character or what was going on, there is absolute clarity here now that that's not the case at all and that you are not an issue. You are not a problem. You retreated and you decided to step away from all of the chaos and chaoticness and found enlightenment and go about your life with grace and you handle things very gracefully and people are like wait a minute whoever was saying that was trying to make you feel like an outsider and you became the queen of the outsiders like Um, the trumpet of like um, the angels, they're calling um, justice on a situation, something that's been out of balance. These are like karmic people and situations that have not been giving you information or have not been giving you what's fair. And it's about to be brought to a just like solution, a just closure, if you will, because it's like the 10 of swords and the death card 13. Lucky like, number 13, everybody says, what a, what a cup. Okay. There could be a Scorpio involved or a King of Cups or somebody's very much in their feels about you and about what they want to say to you or they're very emotional and they want to heal something or whatever that is. Somebody's wanting to um, bring like a, a closure to something. Somebody that doesn't have closure. They don't like the way that it was that it ended or that they walked away or something like that. Rainbow energy, again, this could have something to do with someone's identity, like LGBTQ, or like someone could be trans here, whatever that is. Um, you're, everybody is welcome, except for the people that want to make fun of somebody like that. You can get out of my chat room. Um, 1971 could be significant. Someone's child could be celebrating their 17th birthday, or it could be 17 years of knowing someone, or... Um, celebrating 17 years of marriage. The color green is so significant. Like there's so much green on all these cards and they keep popping out like emerald green, viridian green, seafoam green. Um, the color copper, like someone could like do hair or just dyed their hair like a copper like a copper undertone or something like that. Someone could have red hair. Um, someone has different, like, opposing beliefs as you, maybe, like spiritually, or they're religious and you're not. This is steel. I told you they were blowing the like trumpet, the horn on justice, the angels. There's leadership again with the horn. I can't make that up. Like, 
I can't. That's so crazy. This is beautiful. Um, so we have Archangel Gabriel. That could be someone's name or Gabby. Gabe could be someone's nickname. Gemini energy could be significant. Um, someone who plays like a wind instrument or is a wind like air sign. That's Gemini Libra Aquarius. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. This is beautiful. This is amazing. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a hermit or illumination of something from a different perspective. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. White candles could be significant or someone with salt and pepper hair or white or gray hair could be significant, indicating a lot of wisdom. You could have a lot of wisdom and be very um, wise for how old you are, possibly. Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Take back your power, which is exactly what planetary alignment is asking you to do now. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings right into your life. There's rainbow energy there as well, just for y'all to have a little bit of a synchronicity. There's rainbow energy on that card. Thank you all for joining. Thank you so much. This is a channel message for the collective of all zodiac signs. If you are interested in getting a personalized channel message because this is sitting home for you, come and inquire about my video chat status and all of my um, schedules for whatever it is that you're asking for, whether that be a channel check-in or maybe you want to sit face to face and ask for questions. That's fine. 720 675 7551. Thank you so much for your guys' gifts. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the shares. Thank you guys so much for your gifts. Thank you for your shares. Thank you. Thank you guys for all your support. I appreciate you. I'm so graciously grateful and so humble. Thank you so much. Thank you, my Maudis. You guys are boss. Thank you to everybody who's a subscriber. If you have personal questions that you want to ask either through text message, you can do that. It's $10 a question or any three for $28.88. That's to my PayPal, and you can text 720-675-7551. Thank you so much, Maddie. You guys are boss. Thank you for the synchronicities. Thank you, Amy, for the follow. Thank you, Tina, for the follow. Thank you, Consuela, for the follow. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. I told you the tropics. Someone said they're going to Hawaii. No, you're wearing navy blue today. Girl, pop off. What's up, beautiful? Thank you guys for the gift. Obsidian is such a good stone. If you have questions about your relationship, your life, or you want a channel check-in, you can text me 720-675-7551. This is a channel message for the collective of all zodiac signs. Or you can have your individual energy pulled here live in chat. Um, while I'm on here for $20 to my PayPal. Please let one of my moderators know when you've done that so they can flag me down and let me know. Thank you for the share. Thank you guys for the shares. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you, my body. You guys are boss. Thank you for the gifts, y'all. Everybody, what's up, Monica? Thank you, Christine, for the follow. Thank you, Cherry, for the follow. So if you, so I want to make a comment on this. If you have a picture or you have like dream catchers and stuff that are falling off of the wall, 
um, you need to cleanse those items or if it's the dream catcher, you need to replace that because it's taken all the energy it can and it's trying to tell you it's not doing its job and it needs to be removed from the home. Thank you, Ms. Boston, for the follow. Thank you for the synchronicities. Thank you, Neil, for the follow. Thank you for the synchronicities. The Sword in the Stone is a boss movie. Like, yes, that's nostalgic. Pop off. <laughs> Pop off. Thank you for the gifts, y'all. Thank you for the gifts. Letting go and letting the universe show you what is meant for you is a beautiful thing. 22 on my screen, Twin Flame Dynamics Soulmate Unionship. Thank you, Alicia, for the follow. What's up, buttercup? I am. I'm over on YouTube. If you guys miss any part of this, uh, 555 on my screen. All right. If you miss any part of this on TikTok, I am simultaneously streaming over on my YouTube studio. That's just the psychic ministry. You can go back and catch up today or any other day. All my readings are timeless. And there's five and a half years of free guidance over there as long as you can listen to me talk. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so graciously humbled by your guys' compliments. Thank you. Green is significant for sure. Heart chakra healing and opening for like new love is here. Romantic love is entering your life one way or the other. Possibly having multiple options. Thank you so much. It says it's been a while since I've been able to tune in and actually stay and you're still on point. Thank you, babe. And thank you so much. My guides stay on point. I'm graciously humbled by your compliments and I'm so graciously grateful you could be here and I'm hoping that it's helping you. No way. Lillian wrapped up in a pink blanket. I'm calling it out. I'm telling you. Thank you, Wendy, for the follow. Thank you, Kemp, for the follow. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you so much. Leos are significant. They pulled through the energy here again. <laughs> it says she's so humble, always surprised by her own foresight. Like, girl, you are it, honey. That makes me blush. Thank you so much. I'm so graciously grateful. I'm so graciously um, appreciative of all of your kindness and the outpouring of support. You guys are beautiful. I appreciate all of your kind words, and I am always surprised and humbled by how kind y'all can be. Thank you. You guys are awesome for your synchronicities. Milk and honey, thank you for the follow. Beautiful. I hope it's hitting home in a good way, and if it is, come and see me for your personalized channel message. That's right. The only way to act is out of grace, humility, and with um, love. And to know that spirit has your back and everything is um, going to come back to you in a way that you give it to the universe. So make sure that it's a positive thing and that it's honest and that it's, it's kind. Because even whenever someone is not kind to you, don't treat them that same way because that says about your vibrational frequency and not theirs. Okay? Um, so how you respond to something is absolutely of vital importance and you need to keep your emotions and your energy in check and keep it tempered. Okay. That's real. Check my chats over here, y'all. That's absolutely right. And we are ushering in the graceful part of all of the relationships. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for all of your support, whether it be in the chat room, the comments, you're sharing my content. 
you're giving word of mouth to other people of you hearing my readings, whatever it is. I'm so graciously humbled by all of your support. Thank you so much. Please let me know how this reading is hitting for you down in the comments. All right, y'all. Something about formal religion is significant. Telepathy is significant. Butterflies are significant. You could be dealing with an earth sign, like heavy on the Taurus, heavy on the Virgo, or a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Aquarius energy, again, of the healing. Mending. Someone could, like, mend clothing or, like, patchwork, like, on someone's clothing. Um, someone could be getting, like, work boots repaired. Setting boundaries is a vital... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow! This is sealed. We have single mother energy here. Three children. Blue butterflies. I just told you butterflies were significant. Um, communication about a single mother or like how strong a single mother is here to take care of her children. This is significant and how balanced her home is. There is definitely something about Leo energy, about strength and courageousness because the sunflower is also Leo energy. I told you earlier, Leona or lioness was significant. There she is. She's a female lion. I told you something about homes was significant or a house was significant. Here it is. Okay. This has something to do with like possibly moving, getting your feet under you so that you can move to a better area or so that you're able to buy a home, a stroke of good luck with a black cat at the front door. And again, we have another crow. Okay. That is significant. Somebody could um, like haul shingles or do something with ripping. Um, somebody is healing a toxic relationship or something that um, someone healed and had strength to walk away from something because of alcoholism. Something about healing something in the home. But this is definitely like alcohol abuse or dependency on something like bad behavior, bad habits, for sure. Um, turquoise, red jasper is significant. Green candles, white flowers. Turquoise is the master healer. Okay. Somebody wants to offer you their cup of emotions and have the wheel of fortune go forward with you. Or the wheel of fortune is turning for you because of your strength and your leadership. You lead a good home or you're leading places even outside of your home because people are following your positivity. Something to do with cars, like a car wash, or somebody could like detail cars or like paint cars. Somebody could be cleaning their car, like their carpets or something like that. Somebody could be cleaning their carpets inside their home. Maybe somebody works for a carpet cleaning company or like an HVAC company. Whoa. This is sealed. There is transformation that's coming like massively for something. You let something go and now there's transformation. You are a wise counselor here. You're causing transformation by transmuting like possible negative energy and things that needed to be healed. You healed them and turned them into wisdom. I told you justice was coming, coming Libra energy here. The scales of justice, the scales of balance. Okay. Fairness, the law and karma, karmatic payoffs. For someone trying to leave you in this nine of swords, energy, negativity, worry, and sleeplessness, there is like karmatic justice coming for someone who tried to do that, possibly to who targeted a single mother. Okay. Someone possibly thought that was funny or thought it was okay to like make them overanalyze their choices or cause procrastination for something that was supposed to be theirs. That's a poor choice. You don't do that to not to anybody, period. But you don't do something like that in like negativity or in bad spirits or in like bad vibration because it's not a good thing to put out into the universe because it's going to come back to you in a way that's not nice and you shouldn't be doing that anyways. You, why do you want to cause someone else pain or suffering or like once you know better, you do better. And if you even know better and you're still doing that, you shouldn't be. Somebody was trying to attack a high priestess or you are in high priestess energy here, twin flame dynamic. 
Someone tried to keep you in indecision and not know which way to choose. I told you the two of swords was significant earlier and there was going to be clarity on that situation. The high priestess is the clarity with the nine of cups. You are sitting in your divine feminine energy and you are manifesting by law of attraction to you what your wishes, dreams, and desires are and are attracting them by like divine guidance. You are guiding someone to you by like speaking from the heart or being genuine because you are genuine. You are literally calling in a divine counterpart. Someone is having a realization and there's going to be liberation for you with this justice. Someone doesn't want me to get that information out. It's very sticky with these cards. There's a lot of fighting and arguing about that. Yep. Wow. No way, man. Whoa, no way. This is sealed. They confirmed the nine of swords with the nine of swords because of a bunch of arguing, possibly over a king of pentacles. There's jealousy because of a king of pentacles being involved with a chosen high priestess or this king of pentacles because of jealousy, frustration, and caused a broken heart. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male. There is justice that's coming into this situation because of a high priestess standing in her like um, divine feminine high priestess energy and staying there. Not stooping down, not stepping off of her throne, not trying to throw anything at anybody that is below the belt. That's not what's happening here. And there's a bunch of fighting over that because someone wanted to keep you in um, a bunch of heartbreak and sleepless nights and being worried and being stressed. And you have someone who doesn't want that for you and who has been watching from behind the scenes what's going on and learn the truth. And you're about to have the nine of cups because you are an excellent leader. You are high priestess leader. Very wise. Three of Wands, travel over land, surveying your kingdom. This is movement for work, possibly near water. Yep, you have the celebration of the Three of Cups. Three times three is nine, and then you have the Nine of Cups, ultimate wish fulfilling. There is healing, and then you pulled the star energy. I told you Aquarius, the star energy of healing and a full recovery has been here the whole time. There it is. They're confirming it. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. That's beautiful energy. Page of Pentacles, this is money coming towards you. Very soon, quickly. Yep, speedy situation to a finish. The end of this heartbreak in fighting. Somebody's learning the truth or seeing the truth about someone in their devil energy. Yep, someone was in their devil energy operating, trying to cause heartache and heartbreak. The Queen of Swords here. Somebody very abrasive, jealous, nasty, trying to break apart or cause division between someone and their partner or something like that, or cause division between a home, a family, or cause strife to a single mother here, that there's three of pentacles, three of cups, and a tower moment that's coming for this person. Someone tried to cause, they did cause tower moment after tower moment for you, and now that whole energy, because it was done not in like somebody saying their truth, and then it causes the tower moment, or someone like trying to like, tell you something nice or constructive criticism and you're like, man, that hurt, but okay. That's not that energy. It's like operating like purposely trying to hurt you or purposely trying to keep you from happiness and celebration or this king of pentacles. Now there's improvements underway and this is your ultimate wish fulfillment because there is healing here. This person may be stuck in the nine of swords now and they may be very ill, like physically. Someone's health could be declining. Someone could be like um, not telling the truth about something to do with their health. Someone wants to give you, this is one and done, April, April 4th. Someone wants to give you charity. They want to heal a situation or they want to start a charity because of your leadership or you're starting a charity or something like that. Let's see what this tarot has to say to close out. Wow. Whoa, no way. This is sealed, y'all. So you got letting go and you got letting go twice. You are letting go of a situation possibly that had something to do with um, like something that caused heartache, um, a loss of an individual, like someone literally physically crossed from one side of the veil to the other. If that's the case, I'm sorry for your loss. You are creating something that is beautiful. You have 11 and 22 here. These are twin flame dynamic numbers. Somebody, you like sing the song of someone's heart because you have personal alchemy. You're an inspiration. You are a good leader. You're a kind leader. 
Um, you are very self-reliant. You're very smart. Someone thinks that you're very intelligent or you read a lot of books, something to do with blood pressure, the heart, heart murmur, or something to do with the cardiac health could be significant. Self-healing, healing your heart chakra and anatomical heart. Someone could have passed away from um, something to do with the heart, congestive heart failure. The crow, we pulled another crow. Seven, explore the 7th of July. This could have something to do with the hermit energy and you pulled the king of pentacles. Something is about to be illuminated to you and um, shown to you for what it is. Um, the truth is coming and it's going to bring justice. The scales of justice are here again. You got fairness and karma that is being paid in your favor for a benefit that is positive because you are communing with the dead. You are um, listening to your spirit guides. You are listening to those that have crossed over. And even though it's dark and it's uncertain and you're not really sure where it's going, you know that they are wise counsel and you are following them and you're following them right to your Knight of Cups. Y'all, this is amazing energy. Thank you so very much for being here. This has been a channeled message for the collective of all Zodiac signs. That's hilarious. It's glitching and it's freezing because the matrix is trying to get in the way of my of my communication to y'all. If you missed it, I'm over on YouTube. You can go and find that and replay it and rewatch anything that it is that you need to watch. OK, um, with light, love and hugs. I hope that this gives you some sort of inspiration because this was even better of a reading than it was this morning. Like truly and honestly, watch the one I did this a.m. I did another one on Instagram and compare it to this one. This is beautiful energy. And you ended it with the nine of cups. Beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal, y'all. All right. You have such beautiful, beautiful, amazing energy coming towards you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. I am graciously humbled by all of your kindness. Thank you for your support. And thank you for being a part of literally the changing of history here and supporting the psychic ministry. You are so amazing. I love you all. You have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.